Hey everyone, welcome back to Kinotopia Games and today we are playing the Festival Fun Adventure. You are invited to Hogwarts latest celebration of magic and mystery. Who is your secret admirer? What an invited alum will crush the party? And who will be your festival date? Complete a magical outdoor adventure for festive attire and a photo of your date for your door. Hagrid, we came right away. What's your big news? Yeah. I'll give you a hint. It'll be lots of fun for you and keep me mighty busy. Mm. I bet Dragon will be fun and keep anyone quite busy. Oh. Afraid I'm not getting a pet dragon. What would Funk think? <laughs> so then, what the news? I can tell you why you helped me turn to my garden. Uh, I see what you're doing, Hagrid, to earn information for garden help. We've done much crazier things to get information, Tonks. <laughs> That's true. Let's get started and hear Hagrid's news. my clothes. For this kind of event I want much nicer clothes. Let's see, this is quite totemish. Uh, maybe this one, this is from Full Marks or this one. Huh. Okay, I like this one. Yes, this looks good. Uh, maybe not dark, maybe not that dark. Okay, a red one. Uh huh. This are this. This one. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, now I'm ready for our adventure. Let's continue. This garden is looking better already. It looks the same to me. But thanks to your help, now I'll have more time to prepare the gardens for the festival. Is it big news that Hogwarts is planning a celebration of magic in the grounds? <laughs> yeah. Classes outside, that Snape even goes outdoor, he is quite pale. <laughs> Yeah. They'll be helping with the outdoor festival. They'll be dueling games and face painting. Hmm. And you say there'll be a school dance outside too? Ah. That's right. Classes first, the festival and dance will follow. <laughs> Which are you most excited about, Ariana? I'm most excited about the dance. Dancing outside sounds like great fun. I've been hoping ever since I went to the Celestial Ball that we'd have another school dance. Will everyone be dressing up for the dance? What kind of music will be there? Yeah. I have no idea what happens in outdoor dance. Ah! Guess you have to wait and see. Thank you for sharing the news with us, Hagrid. Mm. Thank you again for your help. Now I've got to start preparing the school grounds. You are right that you'll be quite busy. Hmm. I bet you'll be quite busy too, Ariadna. How do you mean? <laughs> Your popularity peaks whenever they talk social events at Hogwarts. 
Tongues is right. By lunch, I bet our friends will be wanting to be a festival day. You really think so? Let's go to the Great Hall and find out. Outdoor classes and rather sulk indoors. Did you hear about the festival? There's a rumor going around about the dance. <laughs> Fire news trail fast! Yes, it looks like everyone's already talking about the outdoor celebration of magic. Let's find out if they know more than we do. Festival and dance. That's a lot of socializing. information so what have you learned hmm. well we know the festival and dance will be during the day on the quidditch pitch mm -hmm. and we know students will vote to elect two ambassadors to preside over the festival <laughs> festival royalty <laughs> rather grand isn't it hmm. i think the ambassadorship is already shaping up to the competition between penny and merola perhaps both can win there will be two winners but who would get you vote, Penny or Merola? I'd vote for Penny to be a festival ambassador. Yeah. I can picture it. Penny is already the most popular witch hmm. at school. Ariana is quite popular too. Am I even in the running? Hmm. Like you said, there will be two winners. Why not you? What does a festival ambassador even do? Ha! Get yourself elected and find out. It's surprising that there wasn't much chat among our friends about taking dates to the festival. Yeah. They may not be talking about it, but they're thinking about it. How can you tell? Ha! <laughs> How can you not tell? I told you, this festival and dance would keep you quite busy. But first, outdoor lessons. I wonder what new spell Professor McGonagall will teach outside. I'm sweating in my robes. I'd rather be nesting. What clever spell involves gobstones? Welcome to the first of your lessons marking Hogwarts outdoor celebration of magic. Ugh. Today you will be learning a new disfiguration spell best attended only outside. Hmm. What kind of spell working only outside? Hmm. I can assure you spell Vox anywhere, Miss Karasu, but one rarely perfects transfigurate of gobstone into a skunk on the first try. Gobstones into skunks? 
It is advised that you only practice this spell in property when related areas. Now take a gapstone, find more space and let's begin. That's enough practicing. Now you are ready to transfigure your gapstone into a skunk. And do try not to startle your skunks for everyone's sake. It worked! Cricky, no skunk, and I got sprayed by my gobstone. Ew. Better than being sprayed by a skunk, mate. You don't think they'll have skunks at the festival, do you? It would make for more cautious dancing. Aha! No dancing or dating for me. I am focusing only on style for the mm. festival. I hope you understand, Ariana. Yes, I understand. Style comes first. Will you help me choose a festival outfit? Aha! I'm in high demand, but I can always style for you. Aha! You're practically by fashion move, Ariana. So, if you need an outfit, I guess you're definitely going to the festival, Ariana. Isn't everyone? And you'll be putting a date? Well, I haven't chosen anyone, or, or no one has chosen me. Do either of you plan to go to the festival with a date? Ooh. Oh dear, class dismissed. Clear the courtyard at once. Uh. I'm sorry, Professor McGonagall. I just want to pet my skunk. Uh. What's that horrible smell? <laughs> skunk! I spent enough time in the forest to know. Uh. Let's go before the strange things to our robes. Oh, I hope I won't stick in potion class. I'm to go there next. What things? Are the brewing potions that smell like skunk? Something smell like my favorite trainers! Do I smell... Uh, I can't tell. I smell like feather. <laughs> Don't you wish feather smell like a bitches? I fell often. Feather? What are you talking about, Marilla? I never defeat me in the race to become a festival ambassador. It's not ideal for me to be teaching a potion class in location void of cauldrons, wild and melancholy. But here we are, celebrating magic outdoors. <laughs> Hooray for magic! In this class, the celebration will be more subtle. Uh, oh. Hooray for magic! Incidentally, the winds are blown from the courtyard, where a false smell and error transpired in Professor McGonagall's transfiguration class. So do refrain from interrupting while I review potion ingredients found outdoors as quickly as possible. Hmm, I smell a quiz in our future. Now pay attention and try not to breathe through your nose.
And that concludes the review. I believe the winds have changed. Inhale at your leisure. <laughs> Hooray for fresh air! Mm. Mr. Lee, what did I say about only subtle celebration in my class? Um, oh, Hooray for uh, fresh air! Oh. Now, let's test your knowledge of pushing ingredients found outdoors. Star child? Me? Uh, or is the lace wing? Is a lace wing a snake native to Africa? Ah. No, a lace wing is a flying insect. Oh, I knew that. Next question, Miss Knight. Which plant is known for its healing properties? Oh. Fluxweed, cobain, or no grass? Mm. It is a trick question. You said nothing of cobain. Ah. Your hesitation bores me. Star child, same question. Me again? Flaxweed, cobain, or no grass? Which plant is known for its healing properties? Is it no grass? No, it's flaxweed. I would say flaxweed if I have more time. The final question, a bonus question not covered in my lecture, goes to Starchild. I'm doing burnt in this class today. What potion requires the following ingredients found outdoors? Uh, hmm. Flaxweed, nogras, lacewing, leeches, powdered bicorn horn, and shredded boomslang skin. My guess is polyjuice potion? <laughs> yes, you're correct. What an unexpected development. Uh, I knew it too. I'd have got that one right. And that is all the time and patience I have for the outdoors today. Class dismissed. I have got my question right if Snape has given me more time. Why do you care so much, Merola? I'm just saying, you don't need to be a potion master to be a festival ambassador or a day to the festival. What? Ugh. Just forget to say anything. I'll be a festival ambassador, you'll see. Meryl's gone mad. What was all about? Um, oh, uh... If uh, there were a quest question, my answer would be jealousy! You think Marilyn is jealous of me? Rumor says Marilyn is losing to be festival ambassador race. To who? Uh, to you! <laughs> At least that's be what everyone is saying. But I'm not even trying to become a festival ambassador. Exactly! Everyone just likes you best! And what do you think Marilyn meant about dating at the festival? Uh, perhaps she means that Anyone will be lucky to be your day to be festival. <laughs> Especially everyone who had the luck of being a day before, like me, for example. I feel lucky to be a day too, Barnaby. I suppose I've got quite a lot to think about and I ought to be heading to the charms class. Don't forget your note. My note? <laughs> Over there, on the ground. I could see your name on it when I first go to class. See you later. A note to me and a gobstone? I think about your gobs. Hope you'll be my festival date. What's this? Could I have a secret admirer? Bam, 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 bam. And we completed part one. So that was all for today guys, thank you for watching this video, watch Kinetopia Games for more festival fun adventure videos, bye bye!